Ben Horner for MBTV here with Billy Boy Bird. Um, just finished training, getting ready for your second headline. Uh, well, no, this is your first. Yeah, first big headline in my hometown. Can't yeah. wait. And, uh, big title fight for me. Uh, that was in the hometown, now in Braintree. I'm the next month, 14th. Uh, Going to be a big fight. Um, been out to Tenerife training with uh, the Welsh brothers and that. And uh, Nathan Dow is looking really sharp. Uh, it's been a good good camp so far. Um, still got a few weeks left. Tickets for this fight basically sold out. I've got literally probably about 10 tickets left. Um, so if you do still want tickets, you need to get at me now. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a great night uh, for all the Essex boys and uh, all the boys who are coming down from Norwich as well. Obviously after winning uh, your first pro belt, you had a bit of a blip. and um, So it's now another chance to yeah. Get your foot back in, back on the ladder. You're back. You've been back to winning ways for a little while now. Definitely, I back to back wins. Yeah, I, I had a few personal issues. You know, I try not to bring it up too much, but there's a few things that went on my behalf, which I'm now sorted. You know, with um, things have moved on. Um, I've moved on in myself. Um, a lot more happier. Um, I'm doing what I want to do now. My training is it's a lot better. You know, I've got no no distractions. Nothing nothing stopping me. Not saying I had that before, but you know, I've been, I could just concentrate now on one thing, and uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a good good start to the year. Well, yeah, another good start to the year. You know, I got the last little win out in March, um, and now this is next next big fight for me, and hopefully to load on to bigger fights. You know, and especially being in my hometown now, well, my new hometown, shall I say? Um, it's it's going to be a, a big statement made, um, and it's, it's nice for all my fans who ain't got to travel so far as well. Um, they'll be be out there in force, and I can't wait for them to display on the 14th. Um, obviously, we all know you sort of train alongside Nathan Dow regularly. Yeah. Um, how much of a benefit is that to have someone who's 17 and now is a pro? Definitely, it's, it's like having me, me best mate back. You know, he was out for a long while when I first started up, up in uh, up Kickstop. Um, Nathan took me under his wing. You know, it was nice. I was living up here, and he was coming out for runs with me in the evening and that, and took me around this, around Norwich, and it was nice. You know, and now to be back training with him again after he's had his his hand injury, it's, it's great to see him back in and I'm not just saying it because he's my pal and he's my, my stable mate, it's the best I've ever seen Nathan look, you know, everyone who's been training with him and seen him in the gym, it is the best he's looking um, and I can't wait, I'm looking forward to watching his comeback fight and he's just going to be strong and he's going to be making a big statement and, and he's ready for, for the mix now, you know, he's get this fight out of the way, test the hand for him, see how things go, then see who's next for him, you know, he, he's there, Nathan's there, he's in the mix for, for a big fight. Um, you know, he's got some great trainers like John. John's training quite well. He's um, He ain't a bad trainer, John, but uh, he, uh, <laughs> we have to uh, test test his level of fitness sometimes because he, <laughs> he's not the strongest. But no, nah, no, nah, he's, nah, he's a good trainer, John. And Graham, you know, um, they're all good boys. And like I said, I can't wait, especially more for Nathan and, and for myself. You know, we're all we're all looking sharp. You know, we've been out at Tenerife, done some great, great training out there. and. Um, we're all fit. We're all fit now, if you know what I mean. We, we, we could fight tomorrow. You know, weight's all good for both of us. Um, we just we're all ready to rock and roll. You know. Um, someone I talked talk to you about a little bit, and uh, someone who I sort of always compare you to, and Billy Joe Saunders. Yeah, um, old Billy Joe. Unfortunately, um, pulled out with hand injury now for the 30th. Yeah. Um, where do you see this year going for Billy Joe Saunders and? Do you think that GGG fight will come off? I think it will come off, you know. Um, Billy Joe, he's, he's a clever boxer. You can't take nothing away from him. I think he, he beats anyone in the ring when it comes to boxing. He's the strongest and the cleverest boxer that I, I can rank in that division, you know. I think with the rematch with Eubank Jr., you don't need to take it, you know. Um, I think if he takes it, it's more just to put the, put the seal on the envelope as such for uh, Chris Eubank Jr. Um, but I think I'd rather see him fight Gigi. Um, I don't. I don't think uh, Eubanks is is a good enough boxer to beat Billy Joe. I really don't. Uh, and he's proven that. Um, and like I said, I, if it happens again, the rematch, and it'll be a great fight. But I know my money will be on definitely. Well, brilliant. Thanks for your time, Billy. Um, okay. Um, Just had a little cheeky bet, John, <laughs> on that one. That's 500 quid. Billy Joe wins. <laughs> <laughs> that all? Yeah. Um, skin at the minute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hard times. I've got to fill this bad boy up. Yeah. But yeah, 
best of luck. No, thank um, you. I'm sure we'll see you on the night. Yeah, just um, want to say a big thanks to all my sponsors who are out there who all support me. GMB Finch, Town Down, Swift, O'Neill Construction, Powerlift Plant, <laughs> and Ampro. Brilliant. Nice one. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers.